All right, uh, we're now ready to drop our push rods in. <clears throat> um, grab one. Here we go. So if you're reusing push rods from a previous build, so I, I already had upgraded push rods uh, from my last motor. I checked the push rods; they were straight, uh, no metal, uh, no wear. <clears throat> funny wear on the ends or anything of that nature. So I decided to reuse these. Make sure you clean these properly. There's a uh, an oil channel that runs down the middle. Uh, make sure <clears throat> you clean that out as well. So just tip the end in a bit of oil. We'll drop it down into the lifter. Okay, get all the push rods pushed in and go ahead and push down on the uh, the lifters that'll push it down onto the camshaft and now we're ready to put our rocker arms on doesn't matter but there we go uh, <clears throat> so that we don't put too much pressure on the threads in the head as we're tightening down the bolt to our rocker arms we're going to make as we go along we're going to rotate the motor around until we know that the valve we're working on uh, is at its lowest point uh, so that we don't, we're not trying to compress the valve spring uh, while we're tightening down uh, the threaded bolt okay <clears throat> so we're ready to put our rocker arms on so we're just going to work our way down so this is the exhaust valve right it, it lines up with the exhaust port exhaust valve intake valve so we want to make sure the exhaust valve is on its base circle. <clears throat> so we know that exhaust valve is on its base circle when the intake valve starts closing. So we'll rotate the motor around. Okay, now we're at peak lift. Alright, that's starting to close. So this would be at the base circle. So we'll grab our rocker arm. When we put this rocker arm on, <clears throat> there'll be a lot of friction here in this uh, push rod cup of the rocker arm. So we're going to put a dab of assembly lube in there. For start up. Going to a drop of <clears throat> assembly oil. There's one. Well. Okay, and then the torque spec on the rocker arm bolt is twenty two foot pounds. Okay, uh, now we'll do the intake valve. Um, so we know the intake valve will be on its base circle when the exhaust valve starts opening. Okay, so the exhaust valve just started opening. So it makes our intake is on its base circle. We'll grab our rocker arm. The bowl there. Some of it there. There 
go. So we got our first two done. Uh, we'll keep repeating the process as we work our way down. Uh, you'll notice I stuck a bolt down at this end just to help make sure the uh, alignment tray doesn't shift around. Helps keep everything centered. So I won't make you watch me do all of these, but you understand the, the principle then, and um, that's how you get the uh, the rock arms in. Okay, for the finishing touch, time to put the valve cover on. Uh, obviously, you want to use a new uh, valve cover gasket. Um, I also replaced the valve cover bolt uh, grommets. You don't have to, but my kit came with it, so I decided to replace them for good measure. Okay, and these get torqued to nine foot-pounds. There we go. So we got at least one cylinder head uh, buttoned up, and I'll also go ahead and tape off the uh, the intake ports over here, just to make sure we don't drop anything down into a cylinder. That would be no bueno. So uh, one last precaution. But I hope this helps. Uh, as always, thanks for tuning in to Scruff's Garage. Be sure to uh, uh, like, subscribe, and if you have any questions. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, I'll help as much as I can. Thanks for tuning in.